Hello everyone, welcome back to today's video. Today we are checking out this really cool canine script. Um, thank you to everybody who is leaving suggestions for scripts in the last few videos. Very much appreciated. I did find a canine one. It's pretty new, so we're going to check it out. We're going to see how it works, um, and we're going to have some fun with it. Before we begin, I would like to ask you, everybody watching this video, to go vote on our community tab poll currently. Um, I'm trying to figure out what you want to see on the channel more, either longer videos, more edited ones, new series, stuff like that. So just go vote on that. It means a lot. Otherwise, subscribe, join the channel if you want let's get straight into it so just like all of our other resources and stuff um it's pretty much drag and drop set up but it does include a configure file a little bit and stuff like that um you can see you have this nice little gui menu we're gonna check out when we get into the game um i kind of like how it looks i think maybe they could kind of move the menu up a little bit but that's just my personal opinion obviously um it works exactly fine um so it gets a new menu look uh they have dog biting um there's a bunch of fixes and stuff and you can toggle dogs getting in and out of the vehicle by pressing delete which is pretty cool so if you want your dog to stay in the vehicle if you're doing like a role play traffic stop thing you can technically do that with this um in order to download and everything you just go ahead and click this zip file from the resource page i'll leave a link to all this down in the description below so you can just click onto it if you want open it up with winzip 7zip whatever you use to open up those files and you can see inside is all of the things and it does give you a readme first file which is pretty cool it tells you exactly how to um install it don't change the folder name uh it gives you support and um shows you how to open the menu so you open the menu with uh f9 follows f1 attack is point in f1 get in another vehicle is delete so it gives you all the controls and everything which is really really cool in order to install it you're just going to go to your server data folder or whatever folder has your resources um i've gotten a lot of questions recently oh my resources file isn't in a folder called server data will this still work yes it will still work just make sure it is wherever you store your resources normally for my case for the default 5m setup for windows it should be called server data but it can be whatever you want technically you're going to go into the resources folder here and then you're just going to drag this whole folder over you're not going to rename it you're not going to change the name at all you're not going to move it any like thing like that you're just going to drag it in and in here you can see there is a config.lula file which you can edit with notepad or notepad plus plus i do recommend notepad plus plus um, and it gives you all of the different um, files. You can restrict them from getting into certain vehicles. So if you only want them to get into a cop car, what they can find, what's illegal, um, and the language files, which is also cool. So there's a lot of configure parts of this file, um, which is really, really nice. So I really like how they've set that up. So in order to go ahead and get this started on our server, we're gonna right click, click rename, but we're not gonna rename. We're just gonna right click and copy or control C the folder name, just so we remember what it is. Go back to our other side of our folder. For my case, it's the server.cfg file wherever this is located wherever your server.cfg file is you're going to edit this with notepad plus plus or notepad and right where it says these resources will be started by default you're going to add it to the bottom it will either be ensure or start depending on what you um have in your file i want to do ensure the name of the folder let's go ahead and save when you start your 5m server however you start it the way you can see if this resource loaded correctly is looking in console and seeing started resource and then the name for my case um you can see it's right here on the screen so we know it's installed correctly we know the resource is started um if you have issues with with um, it not starting or not appearing, the command's not working, delete the cache folder in uh, wherever your server cache folder is, let it recreate and restart your server. Um, all right, so let's hop in game, let's check it out and let's see how it does. All right, so we have made it in game here. Clearly the game loves putting me in the worst possible places for videos. I'm gonna do slash K9 and it's gonna open up this little options menu. You can obviously click over this for the animations, what you want the dog to do and everything, but we're just gonna go ahead and click options and we're gonna change the model so we can click what we want. In my case, I'm gonna go for the shepherd because that's just really, really cool. And then if I click spawn, hey look, here's the shepherd. Yay, we're in. Um, animations, you can have them sit down, you can have them lay down, go back, obviously you can have them move around and everything. Actions, you can get in and out of vehicles, search places, so he has begun searching places, um, which is really, really cool. Other than that, uh, you can do, just go ahead and close the menu to get out of that, and the dog is now searching, which is really, really cool. To go back into the canine menu, obviously, just do uh, slash canine, um, and you can get them in and out of vehicles. If I had a vehicle, um, that would be really cool as well. So. That is how you spawn the canine and everything. Let me get into a vehicle so I can kind of show what that does. I almost spawned a bike. That would not have been good. Hello, doggy. Um, so you can see that, so the dog actually found something here. So it's trained to get those things from the configure file, which is really, really cool. Um, you can see he has found cocaine. Um, so good dog, very good job. Um, so what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna get in and out of the vehicle. 
um, and you can see the dog is gonna hop in the car. Even though it looks a little jank, it does work. Um, and you can see we are now driving around with a canine in the back. What in the world is happening here? I don't know. Um, oh, that's the resource I installed yesterday. How fun. I forgot about that. I should probably deinstall that because clearly uh, I installed a graphics mod update this morning and that is very bright. Um, obviously, if I get out of the car, you can see the dog is going to stay in the car because I didn't tell it to get out. If I do slash canine, I can go ahead and get them out of the vehicle and they'll go ahead and get out of the vehicle. So there's your resource. That's how you use it. Hopefully you did enjoy a little bit of a slower and longer video today, though. Please go vote on the community tab if you're interested in uh, helping shape the channel for the future. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. My name is Noodles. I'll see you tomorrow. Face reveal of 5,000 subscribers, by the way, so go subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow.